so if you can please go into that for us. All right, um, you've got uh, something else. I'm going to get to the end of the story. I'm going to put this in the future. I'm going to put this in the future. Yeah. 
Changes were made on the description and following the point one A. Two point two. Um, we need to define the, what this is going on in commercial terms and what is going on one this and the only two. Um, we go to the final section. Commercial two is just three, one and two, and including the mobile station. Commercial one is from the non-including the mobile station. However, in some documents, the only list of commercial two is in the main font. Yes, by the way. So that's what we expect to do. So for commercial one, uh, it, most commercial zones these days it's so powered by a lot of them. There's one possible way to put a cell phone and communicate with them. You can talk to them. Hey, you don't have to find the site to me because it's mainstream to the time that the cell phone comes to um, being the kind of fall phone and if you read the cell phone tower ordinance, um, it's just going to happen in the commercial one. So I would like to strike the cell towers from commercial. But it is in the intent of the industrial, which is where it's taken, to make the cell towers, but it also should be for residential because it's better for the way that you're putting it. Well, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Level one is established in a lot of school districts. 
So, uh, current commercial retail office space is on the ground floor. That was an amendment which was done in 2016. Um, any questions on that? So, what is purple there? Would be uh, village residential. What is orange? Would be commercial. And what is red? Is industrial. To the um, if you look on that floor plan that I'm handing you, funny thing, our floor plan and our industrial for the most part line up pretty well to each other. Okay? Um, with that in mind, currently we allow manufacturing, packing, Processing warehouses, railroads, and substances, offices, and printing, research testing, storage yards, accessory uses, storage and shop for the conducting of any wholesale to retail business, offices, banks, personal services, medical facilities, auto services, and garages. Being where that is in a flood zone, they're not allowed to have the local aid fuel tanks and stuff like that. Um, I'm concerned about oils and stuff just into the water by a particular sensor. I think I might strip that out of the industrial commercial and keep it only in the commercial, which would reflect the mobile area. Okay. Cell phone uh, communication towers here to solve the problems. There is a description in the 2004, uh, 2024. Um, there was a minor change there, which I agree with the uh, take the mill out and make that as a support. Please just stop it. And that's exactly what I'm referring to. Okay. And we absolutely can do it. Yes. Stuff that is movable is preferred versus stuff which is not movable on the ground. Exactly. That, that, was, that was that one. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't pick up well. Uh, I have to know this all to you, but I wouldn't be able to pick up well. Village residential is defined in here as the area of public water and public school. So that should have. The roads as well as the lot numbers in the So we want to make that very good for the person who strips the lot numbers. And you can go over that for less than you can take it. Right, and then that's going to take the computer and the sound records and go and put it right back. And we will be checking that. Ideally, what that would do is the area that is in purple here, uh, we would actually bring it down here to the next town line because we want to extend out of there. And to bring it up here 
around because it now goes um, service to and the length of prophecy after the private
regulations come up and provide a state of the provision of public health services and to the law organizations that are used by people who have copied the medicine and the medicine that is the case for supporting the new laws. The other category is the power and expectation. overlay, nothing changes there. This is all the way from Taiwan, West Border, from Actions and Anything, Taiwan, or from Jaws, to the Western border, to the town of Plymouth and Bridgewater, from excluding the world right now, and the industrial zones. Swamp over. Swan overlay is 250 feet from the center line of the river on each side. Um, so what we did is like a little description of each stop. Um, and I would like to stay in the But it stops at the dam on the river street. And just continue to drift. And it seems that we have the space that you can continue to grow up until we get to the new complex. But with me and the new complex, you might as well also have that space. Now, so we would be creating a much better atmosphere and park. Much nicer area of business commerce. But the devil in fact is standing now down to the next two thousand. So it's basically the memorial property. Ultimately, once the money is gone, we can spend it all the way to the so, if you look on it somewhat, um, so if you look on it, I'm not going to read it. If this computer stands 250 feet only in front of the shoreline of Squam, Blue Squam Lake, Squam River, for the purpose of determining the values, this district shall begin at the water's edge at the lake level of 561 feet, as measured at the New Hampshire Water Resource Board gauge at the Route 3 bridge over Squam River in the whole so that's how far we can determine that. So even if the flood changes, it's still having to come into play. So then you get this. This is an overlay district. So you have the district's restrictions. And then you have the additional benefits. Structures on slopes which exceed 50% cannot be built. Uh, application of fertilizer, pesticides, and herbicides. Okay. Again, now going down to town, that's not an issue. Um, underground fuel storage tanks. Well, this is also a flood area, so um, we don't want those tanks to be in place. And currently, none of that can be done. And lastly, any excavation from which the earth excavation permit is issued under RSA 155 is required. So they just have to bring it to 
go through the training process of the corporation. And then the last overlay that we have, which is, is the one that we have to accept that. Yeah. Um, that. Now, last year we added it to the building um, ordinance. It's in your section. Um, and then it's just moved from your section to the section. Yeah, we can update it. The way we can update it is just moving the entire language and everything from uh, the special.
And so it's going to ask you to have to pay for it. It's going to be real for this property to be a problem with the people who to be a problem with the Talking about, you know, uh, the town's looking to do a uh, 
I think I'm going to be able to be able to be somebody who will be very important to us. Uh, and like I said, he has all these contacts around that are looking to be in an area like this because we have the access to the three, and we have the access to the three, we have the access to the change and everything. We have the potential. It's just not the future. It's not the future. It's not the future. It's not the future. And you really don't feel bad about it. And so the guy is going to help. I don't know. It is a type of like a town meeting with all these experts that you need to be on the side and say, yes, you can do that, if you do this, you can do this, if you do that. But they have the expertise to know guide you into what you can and can't do, both legally and looking at the money. Thank you. 